Welcome to the Cap Guy Show. Starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. You ready? I'm ready. You get out of bed every day. Go to your job. Selling on eBay. Listing items to make that dough. And nothing else matters. We source, list, and ship every day. Track our packages while they're on their way. Sell unique and bizarre is what I say. And nothing else matters. Comp it low, sell it high. Watch my YouTube till I die. Comment below and subscribe. And nothing else matters. And nothing else matters. Good job, JT. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You like Metallica too, huh? <laughs> I sure do, but I didn't know they had an eBay song. Well, they do now. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Anyway, what do we sell? Let's get on with it. <sighs> I'm going to go listen to Depeche Mode now. Or Queen's Right. Yeah, side of lucidity. We can make a song out of that. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye, folks. Just a quick insert and a notification here. 589. Thank you, folks. I had a ton of views on yesterday's video. I don't know what I did right, but whatever it is, I better figure it out, right? Um, 30 listings yesterday. I've done 130 uh, for the five days previous, I will do a few today just to keep the consistency. Uh, even though I said I was going to do 20 a day, I'm averaging about 26 a day. And, um, I'm at 589 on the subs, 11 away from giving Kevin Zinneman golf head cover away. Thank you, Kevin, again, and the homeschool hustler kids. Um, thanks Donnie for commenting. Thanks W for commenting on the Winberg. I didn't think I'd get any comments on that one. And, um, I appreciate it. And uh, the new subscribers that I can see, Kevin, NLSC13, and Nancy. I appreciate you. And now we're going to get on what I sold. And uh, you folks, I appreciate you again. As always, let's get to it. See you at the next. All right, I'm getting a jump on uh, tomorrow morning's video with the sales I have so far today, which at this point at 9.04 p.m. is 14 so I think definitely 4% um, promoted listings are uh, working. So a lot of my older stuff selling and then a lot of stuff that I've listed. And today I listed 30 items. So in the last five days, I've done 130 listings. So that's almost 20, it's a little over 26 a day. So there you go. Be consistent and list, list, list. Here we go. The first thing I sold this morning was Work Ethic with Scarface. This is a CD, and I picked this up at two for two hundred two at Goodwill. Sold it for fourteen bucks plus shipping on top. That went first class. It they paid for media mail, but it was only four cents more. So I upgraded and made the difference, and I'll throw up my profit. The next is Touch Detective Two and a Half Nintendo DS, and there you go. I paid uh, $2 for this. I'm sorry, I take that back. I paid $5 for this. Sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. I got this at a yard sale. And here's my profit. The next item is PSI Ops for PlayStation 2. Disc only. And on this game, I paid $2. Sold it for $13.90 plus shipping. And here's my profit. The next is Port and Company Federal A uh, FAA uh, Windbreaker from 2004, Oklahoma City. And it's uh, some kind of award jacket or windbreaker. And there you go, size large. Um, I got this at the bins, about 80 cents based on weight. And I had it in my 10% off sale. And I saw a watcher and I went ahead and threw out another offer at 12.83. That's what it sold for, plus shipping. Went in a flat rate priority envelope. 
And uh, here's my profit. The next is another game, PS2, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Attack of the Twonkies, whatever a Twonky is. And um, on that game, I paid 50 cents at a yard sale, sold it for $9.99 with free shipping, and here's my profit. The next is Guitar Hero World Tour for 360, Xbox 360. And on this game, I gave uh, 202 at Goodwill, 699 uh, shipping, or uh, that's what it was sold for. And here's my profit. Not much, but sales are sales, profit's profit. Next is another video game, PS3, Skate 3. I just go, sold Skate 2 the other day. This one I paid $1.78 on Old Man Discount Day at Goodwill. And uh, sold that for $14 plus shipping. And here's my profit. The next is Double D Ranchware. I bought this at the Highway 75 sale up in Northeast Oklahoma. Should have stayed in that house a little bit longer. There was a ton of women's clothes, but it was really dark in the house. And I paid $3 for a bunch of stuff like this. And uh, these sell for pretty good money. This one had a few little stains on it, and I did disclose it in my listing. Um, it is a woman's small, and I have a couple other jackets similar to this in different colors. Some are higher priced. One looks almost like a, a, a Union Cavalry's uh, with Lieutenant Bars on the top uh, shoulders jacket. And it's definitely considerably higher in price for, uh, for that item. Uh, this one I paid $3 for. I sold it for $35 on a best offer. And that went in a uh, priority box. And here's my profit. The next is a Funko Pop. I got this in a bunch of uh, Funko Pops. I paid a hundred and Ten bucks for about 30, 31 of them, and uh, that values out to about uh, two fifty-eight a piece. Sold this for nine. It is Nemo number seventy-three, Disney Pixar, and um, I had it for nine ninety-nine. Saw a watcher, sent an offer, and send those offers when you see the watcher. Sometimes they'll bite, sometimes they won't, and um, plus shipping on top. And here's my profit. The next is another game, Nintendo DS, Plants vs. Zombies. It is complete. And on this game, I paid $2. Sold this for $13.99 plus shipping. And again, here's my profit. The next is Pirates of the Caribbean on Wii at World's End. And this one has no manual, just disc and case. Again, I paid uh, nothing for this. I got it in a bundle deal for a Nintendo Wii system and a bunch of games. So I comped the Wii system. Uh, I paid 35 for all of it. So the games were basically free. And um, I've made some really good money. One of them was an X-Files game. And that thing alone is worth 50 bucks. So that paid for the, the whole thing. But uh, on this one, nothing in it. $6.99 out. And uh, plus shipping. And here's my profit. Another game, Xbox One, Red Dead Redemption. Comes with everything. All the pamphlets are there. Two discs. And um, I paid uh, 202 for this at Goodwill. Sold it for 28.49 plus shipping. Again, I saw a watcher and threw out a little bit of an offer, not a big offer, just a little one. And they bit and took it, plus shipping. And here's my profit. The next is Lego or The Legend of Zelda. It's 25th anniversary Symphony Orchestra, a special CD. I've never listened to it, but I got this in a bag of. Uh, Disc only games that I gave uh, 20 bucks for. One of them was a Zelda game, and I've already sold that and paid for the whole lot. And um, this uh, didn't have a lot of value, but I didn't have a lot in it. Um, $1.66, I sold it for nine plus shipping, and I still made some good profit. And the last thing I've sold so far tonight, I got this at the barn sale back in September. And uh, I did some videos on that where I was running around that barn for hours, picking. I sold a bunch of Twilight t-shirts for hundreds of dollars. And uh, this was one of the buckles I picked up. There were some John Deere ones. But this is a bling belt buckle with in the shape of a pistol. Hope they don't catch it in the mail and think I'm shipping guns. Um, and you can see the buckle attachment on the reverse side. This is going to Miami. So most of my Miss Journeys folks must be needing a, a blingy belt buckle. Um, paid two bucks for this, sold it for 20, full price, and uh, plus shipping, and here's my profit. I will be back with you later with the rest of my sales. Talk to you later, folks. All right, we're going to go over the sales I had after I ended last night. 
Uh, started off with this, it's an Outback wool hat. It is 100% wool. And we'll pop over here real quick. You can see it's a size seven. And uh, there you go, 100% wool. So uh, anyway, this going to Canada. Um, I paid $3 at an estate sale back in November for this. Sold it for $25.50. Again, I, I run 10% off. I have it for a price. And then I see a watcher, I drop the price again because I want to move the item. And $3 invested, you get some room there to move. So I didn't go way down. I did went down to $25.50 and sold it, plus shipping. And that went to 12 by 12 by 8 And here's my profit. The next is a Wii game lot. It is basketball, hockey, and baseball double play. And this, for the first time, I'm shipping to South Korea. So uh, this went in a four by six by eight box. Um, I had nothing invested. This was in a bundle deal with a Wii system that I paid 35 bucks. I sold one earlier in the show and um, nothing invested. Sold these for 2250 plus uh, shipping. And what was my profit on that? 1905, here it is. And um, this week I've sold to Greece, Korea, and Israel, the first time for all three of those countries. So there you go. The next is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on PS3. It is just the uh, game, no manual. And I paid uh, two for this, sold it for nine plus shipping, and here's my profit. And then these games I cleaned and listed yesterday. The first one is PS2 Tony Hawk's Underground, disc only. Uh, I had 50 cents invested I've in a bundle deal with a bunch of discs. Um, PS2s aren't real desirable unless they're rare. So I'll probably shy away from them a little bit more because I've got a ton of them. Uh, but I'm still making profit on them. Sold this for uh, $9.99 with free shipping and here's my profit. And then the last one I sold was another one that I listed yesterday and cleaned uh, Street Hoops on PS2 disc only. And again, 50 cents invested, same bundle deal. Uh, 650 sold, zero uh, shipping, free. So uh, my profit was two bucks, here it is. So on the day, I had 19 sales, 33.38 in cost of goods, 283.17 in sales, and 198.38. 48.38 above my goal of 150 a day profit. There it is. Listing, 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 and running sales, sending offers, and you will be successful. Keep your cost of goods low and sell high and leave yourself some wiggle room when you need to. Folks, I appreciate everybody, all the subscribers new and uh, that have been with me since the beginning. As I always say, I'm 11 away again from giving away the Kevin Commonwealth Flipper uh, homeschool hustlers, uh, very nice of them gift the in a man golf head cover. So at 600, I'm giving it away. Stay tuned and give it a thumbs up if you'd like. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. Have a great day folks. And the cap guy in JT, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do.